this, this corner, corner, weighing in, in at 734 grams, the, the champ, the, the drone in the zone, zone the, the Mavic Pro. And in this corner, corner weighing in at 430 grams, the, the challenger, the, the new kid, the, the Mavic, Mavic Air. Air. Time for the ultimate showdown. So, so put, put it in sport, sport mode, spin, spin up your props, props and get, get ready, ready to, to rumble. rumble. Mavic Pro has been the king of the hill for a while with its 4K camera, powerful features, and compact size. But the Mavic Air is looking to challenge the champ. This video is designed to answer the question, which one is better for me? And the last two words of that question, for me, are really what matters. Because ultimately, it's all about what you want to do with the drone. We have selected 13 objective criteria that we're using for this video, and in each one, we will declare a winner. So let's get started. Round one, size and weight. So not to be too obvious, but round one is a total win for the Mavic Air. The Mavic Air is just over half the weight of the Mavic Pro, and it is actually about half the size. It's uh, much smaller when it's folded down. It's much more compact to put into a bag, and it just is gonna be easier to travel with. So. In terms of size and weight, I've got to give it to the Mavic Air, round one Mavic Air. Round two, camera and gimbal. So while the cameras and gimbals are similar on these two, they're both three axis gimbals and they're both 4K cameras, there are a couple things that really favor the Mavic Air. Number one, the amount of data that the camera collects. It's 100 megabits per second versus 60 megabits per second on the Mavic Pro. What that means is basically it's collecting more data so you're gonna get sharper, crisper, more detailed pictures on the Mavic Air. And then number two, the Mavic Air has a top frame rate at 1080p of 120 frames per second versus 96 on the Mavic Pro. Now what does that mean? That just means that instead of 3x slow-mo, you can do 4x slow-mo, which will capture even more detail. You can always speed slow-mo up, but you can't really slow it down without deteriorating the quality of the image. In addition to those things, the camera and gimbal on the Mavic Air are way more protected than they are on the Mavic Pro. The Mavic Pro's camera and gimbal are kind of just out there and need this bubble to keep them protected when they're in a case. But when they're flying or when they're not in this bubble, they're pretty exposed. Whereas on the Mavic Air, they're really well protected. So you're not going to get any damage done to them or not as likely to. And then finally, the Mavic Air is uh, fixed focus, meaning that everything is pretty much always in focus as long as it's uh, far enough away, whereas the Mavic Pro is tap to focus. That means that you can get some cooler um, depth of field shots where the foreground is in focus and the background is blurry or vice versa, but that also means that if you don't actively do that, you can have shots out of focus on this. So it's a little more thought you have to put into flying the Mavic Pro in terms of focusing the camera. So again, in my opinion, Mavic Air wins the camera and gimbal battle. Round three, flight time. Okay, so for the first time in this comparison, the Mavic Pro wins. Flight time is 27 minutes versus 21 for the Mavic Air. Now, of course, those numbers are what DJI puts on the specs and are theoretical, best conditions, flying forward at a certain speed, uh, no wind, et cetera, et cetera. You're gonna get less flight time than that. I've done flight time tests on both of these, but regardless, you're gonna get less flight time on both of them, which means that ultimately the Mavic Pro is still gonna have almost 25% more flight time than the Mavic Air. So if flight time's important to you, that's a big win for the Mavic Pro. Round four, flight range. Once again, the Mavic Pro comes out swinging in round four. Flight range with OcuSync is way better than flight range with enhanced Wi-Fi on the Mavic Air. It just means that you can fly this thing further with a clearer signal using OcuSync than you can with the enhanced Wi-Fi. OcuSync is gonna give you a clearer and stronger signal than enhanced Wi-Fi. I'm not saying enhanced Wi-Fi is bad, but I am saying that in this round, the Mavic Pro wins. Round five, compatibility with DJI goggles. So this is a close round because they're actually both compatible with DJI goggles, 
but the Mavic Air requires a cable, whereas the Mavic Pro can connect via AccuSync. And that's, to me, just the better experience. So while you can do both on the goggles, I gotta give this round to the Mavic Pro because of its ability to connect to the goggles via AccuSync. And let me tell you, flying this thing with the goggles is pretty amazing. Uh, it's not to say this isn't amazing too, but the video signal and the clarity and the range you can get with AccuSync is just gonna blow anything else away. So if you really wanna try something cool, try flying your Mavic Pro with the DJI goggles sometimes. One other thing you can do with the Mavic Pro using the goggles is fixed wing mode, which is a way that you fly that makes you feel like you're flying a fixed wing airplane. It's really very cool, very immersive and challenging. So if it's something you wanna try, you have to have the Mavic Pro to do fixed wing mode. So overall, compatibility with the goggles, wirelessly, fixed wing mode, AccuSync goes to Mavic Pro. Round six, internal storage. So this is an easy one. Mavic Air wins round six, internal storage, because it has it. It has eight gigabytes of internal memory, so you don't need a micro SD card. If your micro SD card is full, or if you forget to put it in, you can still record video to the internal memory on the Mavic Air. Mavic Pro does not have that feature. So easy win in round six for the Mavic Air. Round seven, noise. So this is a close one, a uh, real battle back and forth, but uh, in our test and our measurements, the Mavic Pro wins by just a little bit in terms of being quieter than the Mavic Air. Uh, it wasn't very much, but it was enough to notice on the decibel reader and enough to notice with your ears. Now here's the big thing. If you put the new propellers that came with the Platinum that you can order by themselves on your Mavic Pro, it is way quieter than the Mavic Air. Hopefully at some point, DJI will be coming out with the uh, propellers that are quieter for the Mavic Air as well. But at this point right now, if flying stealthily and quietly is important to you, Mavic Pro is the way to go. And Mavic Pro Platinum is even better because the ESCs and the propellers make a huge difference in the sound. Round eight, speed. So this one's also pretty close, but the Mavic Air wins out by just a little bit. It can go 41 miles per hour in sport mode, whereas the Mavic Pro can go 40 miles per hour in sport mode. But the one thing about flying the Mavic Air in sport mode is its smaller size actually makes it a bit more agile and easy to fly and just seems to be more responsive. So while it's not a lot faster, it feels a lot faster. I'm giving speed round eight to the Mavic Air. Round nine, remote control. So the Mavic Pro wins round nine because the remote control has a few features that the Mavic Air's remote does not have. Number one, it has this LCD screen. This LCD screen gives you a lot of data about the quad, and if you're flying without a phone, it makes a huge difference. You can get battery, distance, uh, height, coordinates, all that kind of thing off of this LCD screen. Also, you can rotate um, the wheel up here on the Mavic Pro, and it will actually lighten and darken your image, which you can't do on the Mavic Air. So in terms of remote control functionality and being able to fly without a phone, I give it to the Mavic Pro. Round 10, flight modes. So round 10 is close because the Mavic Pro does have a lot of cool flight modes, but they have added a few to the Mavic Air that make it really, really compelling, specifically Boomerang and Asteroid. Those two flight modes are really, really cool. Plus with the big sensor in the front and the hand control you can do with this thing, it is definitely a more interesting flight experience when it comes to automating flight paths and stuff like that. So round 10, flight modes goes to the Mavic Air. Round 11, obstacle avoidance. So both of these quads have sensors in the front that allow them to avoid obstacles, which is fantastic. Both have sensors on the bottom that help them land and identify things when coming down. But the Mavic Pro does not have rear sensors, whereas the Mavic Air does. So in terms of obstacle avoidance, the Mavic Air already has an advantage there. And then when you add A-Pass to it, which gives it the ability to actually fly around things automatically in A-Pass mode, around or over things, uh, Mavic Air is the clear winner in terms of obstacle avoidance. Round 12, gesture control. So once again, the Mavic Air wins in round 12. Uh, gesture control comes from the sensor in the front that allows you to put your hand up, see your hand, recognize your face, take the quad off from the ground using your hand, land the quad using your hand, control it with your hand, uh, send it away, take selfies, roll video, all that sort of thing without having to hold a remote control in your hand. That's pretty awesome. 
Uh, Mavic Air does that, Mavic Pro does not really do that, and so we give that one to the Mavic Air. Final round, price. So right now, Mavic Air wins in that department as well. It's $799 for the Mavic Air, uh, the basic kit, and it's $999 for the Mavic Pro. Now, will the Mavic Pro price come down eventually? I think so. But right now, as of uh, February 2018, the Mavic Air wins in terms of price. So ultimately, this is a well-fought battle between two really good drones. If range, flight time, compatibility with the goggles are important to you, more important to you, then the Mavic Pro may very well be the best choice for you. And by the way, if you do decide to buy the Mavic Pro, I highly suggest the Platinum, or at least buying the upgraded propellers for the Mavic Pro so that you can get the advantage of more flight time and a bit quieter flight experience. The Mavic Pro is a very, very solid contender, and I wouldn't put it off at all because ultimately it's still the most popular drone out there, and this guy is still the challenger. And of course, the ability to go out and fly without a phone is a real big appeal on the Mavic Pro because ultimately, if you want to go out and fly line of sight, it's much easier to do it with all the data that you get on the LCD screen from the Mavic Pro remote than it is to do without that on the Mavic Air remote. However, regarding the Mavic Air, if portability, flight modes, hand gestures, obstacle avoidance, and price are your criteria, Mavic Air is a clear winner, and it's a great balance between size, performance, and price. So you're probably saying to yourself, hey, I just watched this whole thing and you're telling me they're both great, go buy them both? No, I'm not telling you that. What I'm telling you is they have their different attributes, but if you want me to pick a clear winner, I'll do that, and that's gonna be the Mavic Air. The reason I picked the Mavic Air is, again, the size of this thing. It is so easy to bring with you, and they say the best camera is the one you have with you. Also, the improved camera itself, the protection of the gimbal, the flight modes, there's just so many things to love about this. Don't get me wrong, I love the Mavic Pro, but in this fight, the Mavic Air is the winner. So that's it. Thanks for watching this comparison between the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Air. They're both great drones, but ultimately it's gonna be up to you which one you pick. I really appreciate the community out there. It wouldn't be a channel without you guys watching, commenting, and giving me your thoughts, so please do so below. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button Give it a like, and of course, hit the notification bell so that you can get updates when we publish a new video. Ready, Set, Drone is all about teaching and all about community. You guys are the best. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>